What's up everybody? It's your boy James with another episode of Grendel's Garage. On this episode, we're gonna go ahead and take off this back wheel. Once the back wheel is off, we're gonna remove that 44 tooth sprocket, upgrade to the 36 tooth sprocket, put the wheel back on, and we're gonna see where it rips. I'm hoping with this modification, we're gonna see an overall top speed. With an overall top speed, we're gonna see an overall cooling effect as well with a different gearing ratio. Alrighty guys, we got a lot of work ahead of us. If you've been enjoying the videos, go ahead, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and why not hit the bell as well? Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Let's get at it. We got a lot to do. She's greasy, 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 greasy. Oh, ready? Oh. Lots to do. Coffee, always coffee. That's what we're doing now. See you guys. Hey, hey everyone. It's your boy James, we're back. Wheels off. We're gonna go ahead and take this 44 tooth sprocket off. We're gonna take that rag joint off. <sighs> right there, friends. And then we're gonna get the 36 tooth sprocket in tomorrow. So I'm gonna take this off tonight. Slap on the new one tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and focus on putting it together for you guys rather than taking it apart. So I just wanna show you what it looked like before. There it should be. Alrighty guys. So I started dinking around a little bit with that coaster brake and I was able to kind of whittle it out of there. So I think what we're gonna do next is actually take it apart and grease it. I figured um, I'm this far anyways. I have no idea when this was worked on last. I also really don't know what I'm doing, but um, from what I've seen on YouTube, um, it should just be as simple as taking it apart, cleaning it, slapping it back together with grease that will be kind of holding it together, um, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it back up. So um, I guess let's uh, go ahead. Hopefully we don't mess up this uh, rim, but uh, hey, we're not trying, we're not learning. Let's get it, guys. <clears throat> Just for some information, I've been using the GoPro 5 lately as my main camera, just in general, for volume purposes. The Brave 7 is just not good with volume. And it's not worth it. I'd rather have a video that's a little bit um, not as good quality for visuals to make up for a little bit of audio as a tremendous amount of audio gains. So, who knows what Christmas is going to bring us though. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and drop all those pieces into this uh, little bucket I have right here. It just has rubbing alcohol. Um, I already took off the little hub that goes over the top. So, again, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, it's just going to be a learning experience for all of us. Oh, all righty, let's get it. Um, this is a greasy turd, so I went through ahead and threw on some good old uh, gloves. <clears throat> Again, not a hundred percent sure what we're doing here, but we'll learn. Taking off some kind of nut. Alrighty. There's the first piece that just came off. Looks like it has a kind of flared out parts on both sides, obviously threaded. So let's go ahead and drop that into the clean, cleaner bucket. For now, let's go ahead and uh, get some picks here. Let's see, the hook one. There. All right, we got our bearing in a cage, I believe is what that's called. Uh, system, excuse me for burping. All righty. Um, I'm not gonna replace these because eventually I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this wheel. Right now, this is really just for grease purposes. All right, so this is gonna come out. Yep, okay, this comes out one, two pieces. All right, this is kind of like, from my understanding, it's kind of like a drum break. So one side expands, it pushes out, and that's what really is breaking everything, okay? So those came out as so, just like that. Cool. And I think that's just gonna drop out. Yep, okay. What else we got? We got some bearings on the other side, some small bearings. <clears throat> All right, again, bearing in a cage. <clears throat> Be okay. 
Okay, I mean, it seems lacking in grease. And this is, who knows when this was serviced, so. Yeah, Alright, I think we got some guts in there now. Is that part of steak? Yeah. There we go. Alright. Rim's completely detached. Alrighty, that guy seated in there somehow. Threads on. Okay. All fair. I'm not really gonna take this other big greasy turd apart. I'm gonna leave that all together. I'm gonna leave that part together. Let's go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Oh. All right guys, we're back after cleaning. So, rubbing alcohol was not the way to go. I ended up just using um, good old gasoline in the same bucket. Uh, I obviously could tell, look how shiny it is, look at that. So one thing um, I was very thankful that I videoed this because as I was pulling this gear sprocket off the back right here, Taking it off the rim, what I realized is I uh, actually lost this bearing system right here. Um, so, with that being said, I kind of set this up so we can kind of see what's going on. <laughs> Hope you're hanging in there. So, that is more of what we're looking like. Sorry, that keeps falling down. So, that's more what we're looking like. And then as it twists back, this part expands and pushes up. And then you get some breakage. So, Lord Almighty. All right, hang in there, guys. Let's see if we can put this back together. We're gonna go ahead and move forward with some high temperature grease. This is what I have. I believe it'll work just fine. Boom! <laughs> grease! It's in the meat! Welcome back, everyone. So, after some frustrations last night, I had to call it and watch some YouTube videos. So, after watching some good YouTube videos, what I noticed is everyone was putting it together from the opposite side of the tire. And they also had a specialty wrench, which I went and purchased one. Um, this one's not great, but it'll get the job done. I was able to disassemble this side with this sprocket. And what we're gonna do, as you can see, I have it mostly together. I still have this actuator that I need to um, slap back on right there. Then we should be able to slap it together going from the opposite side, inserting this side, and then putting everything together from here with all the guts all together rather than trying to drop those uh, little shoes, those little brake shoes. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves and we're gonna see what we can do. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's go ahead and slap this together. Everything is nice and greased up. <clears throat> I have the entire assembly together. Let's see if I can tilt it. The grease is holding um, those brake pads on. So all we need to do is just slide this in as so. Nice and easy. All right. So I just kind of eyeballed it for the axle going across for a reassembly. Everything is together. So all we're gonna do next is lay this down. Our next piece of business will be, I already have the bearing inserting the bearing inserted into the cylinder. So now all we need to do is drop this here into the hub. And yes, great success. I don't know if you can tell right away, but uh, completely flush. Good to rock and roll. Let's see if I can bring you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I don't know if you can tell, but everything is completely flush. So now we're just gonna go ahead and insert, or excuse me, bolt on last little bit here. We have this little cone nut. Slap that sucker in. Sorry I didn't show you more of the assembly, it was quite a chore and it's a chore because I made it harder on myself. I should have watched a few more YouTube videos 
got the lay of the land, got the correct tool off the bat, that flatter wrench. That's the trick, is the flatter wrench. Um, that is the difference maker there, which you'll see us use here in a sec. I think I look pretty good in all honesty. Pretty symmetric too. Pretty close. Oh, Larry. Okay. Welcome back, here we go, 36 tooth sprocket has been mounted on, kinda. We have the bolts pushed through. This is a CDH, Ooh, sorry, this is a CDH power product. I kept the uh, bolts that came with this sprocket. Uh, they seemed a little bit stronger. A little bit better not as much wear and tear now the nuts on the other hand um not super excited for they don't have a teflon thread at all they have these uh little metal grips but we're gonna roll with it and see how it does has a bigger surface though some lock washers significantly smaller though doesn't quite do it justice, but you can slap that bad Larry over it. Pretty, pretty well, so. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with any of the annex. One other thing I'm gonna say, though, is I do like how this came in this back part right there, that back mounting bracket. I do like how that came in two pieces instead of the other one with three pieces. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I think with two pieces, you're actually having a more even displacement of pressure all around that. So let's go ahead and get out of guys. I'm not gonna bore with you putting the nuts on the bolts, so stay tuned. Here we go. All right, guys, we got the sprocket mounted on the rag joint. Everything appears to be pretty well secured. Everything should go smooth. I feel I feel like it's pretty good. It feels like maybe a little tight, which I might kind of toy with it a little bit and tweak it a little bit. Loosen it up slightly. It's also on here. But I'm pretty happy, guys. I believe that I will need to true up the wheel a little bit. Then we'll get the sprocket completely trued up. Once the wheel's trued up, go from there. The 36 sprocket should be a little bit more forgiving, but still want to try to get the best we can. Alrighty, guys, stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, we survived. We learned how not to put a coaster brake together and then how to put a coaster brake together. Make sure you have the right tools is what we learned. With that being said, the 36 tooth sprocket went on very nice. I decided to go with the rag joint rubber connections that I already had connected to the wheel because they were already cut grooves that will attach to the spokes. And I think that will help me not have to do as much judgment, adjustment, excuse me. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and slap this on the Banshee Queen, true up the rim, true up the sprocket, shorten the chain, and then we might be back on the road. Projection, one week. Long term, two weeks. All right, guys, let's do it.